Welcome to Bob Larson Live. You're going to see some remarkable footage that we shot of an exorcism that took place in person right here at our ministry center in Phoenix, Arizona. Raised in a church, a young woman, Melody, became a drug addict at the age of 13. She left home as a teenager. Eventually, she gave her life to Jesus Christ and also gave birth to her first child in jail. She was nearly murdered several times. Today, she's a single mom with three kids battling for their souls and desperate to escape her own demons. And you are going to meet her tonight. If you'd like to be on I Have a Demon, just contact us at I Have a Demon at BobLarson.org. As always, like and share so other people can experience this remarkable story of freedom that you're about to witness. Also, be sure to subscribe. When you subscribe, you know first the most dramatic videos that we're going to be posting on our exorcism channel and other items of note and interest. And by the way, I want to say to all my friends in Denver, Colorado, you're almost out of time to schedule me on Monday, June the 28th, if you'd like to have an in-person encounter. And of course, my friends back in Baltimore, got to get the date right this time, August 6th through 7. Our first seminar in nearly two years, and we're picking a great place to do it, New Life Sanctuary there in Essex, which is part of the Baltimore area. And thanks to all those of you who have been helping us take this ministry to another level, but we are still honestly really way short of where we need to be surrounding me, in front of me, all around me. You can't see it because you're just looking at me on the set here. There is all kinds of new equipment that we had to get. Some of the other equipment broke down. We've had computers break down. We've had cameras break down. I mean, we've been basically holding this together with bailing wire, so to speak, for the last year plus, but we just couldn't go on that way any longer. And so we had to make some major changes. We've made those changes by faith and a credit card, believing that you would help us. And several friends have, but we've fallen fall short, far short of what we've needed, several thousands of dollars. So thank you right now for responding and going to boblarson.org or looking down below at the other opportunities for giving and giving a very special gift. One of the ways you can help us and help yourself is becoming a member of the Members Only Channel. We're into June now, and we've got some of the best videos ever that we've made available to our members at the sword bearer level, where every month we give teaching on curse breaking. And if you haven't seen it, it's really neat because I'm on one side of the screen and the words are on the other side, so you can say it along with me and break curses as I break them with you in tandem in agreement according to Matthew 18. It's really a neat thing to do. Also, you get to see every month behind the scenes, follow up to people who have appeared on I Have a Demon here on Bob Larson Live. And this month, it's the couple from England, a dramatic conversion, both husband and wife. I've taken through deliverance. Many of you have seen them, Lee and Sarah. Well, this is what went on behind the scenes you'll get to see. And then at the soldier level, Exorcism Uncut, long length footage, unexpurgated, on a bridge, you see it as it happened, and this is the young man who was on the Dr. Phil show. But you will see what Dr. Phil wouldn't let you see. And then Exorcism Examined, one of the more dramatic exorcisms I've ever done. A woman attacked me as I was moving through the audience rebuking a Jezebel spirit in another woman. And you've got to see the end of this how she sings praises to the Lord once she's delivered. But I walk you through an exorcism exam, it's step by step, so you understand how the exorcism takes place. And then, of course, at the commander level, accelerated deliverance, teaching you can't get anywhere else. 
I hope many of you enroll in our School of Exorcism and the following Advanced Academy Deliverance. But this is another level of teaching that we do this month. Who is Jezebel? In addition to the book I've written on the subject, more material about the spirit of Jezebel. This is part one of a two-box series. I take a look at Jezebel in Bible history. And then, from the archives, every month, commanders get a new video. This is an amazing video we shot about 20-some years ago. I took on the daughter of Anton LaVey, the first person she was ever baptized into the Church of Satan. Her and her paramour at that time, Nicholas Schreck, a well-known Satanist and um, artist of sorts, very interesting character. He's a Setian, which means he actually worships Satan. Not like Anton LaVey, who believed that Satan was just a convenient image to exploit for lust and rebellion. But this guy really believes in the devil. So he, at that time, was, was living with Zena LaVey, the daughter of Anton LaVey. And this confrontation about Satanism versus Christianity, you've got to see this. If you've never seen it, this is the raw footage as we shot it. You can see both the most incredible things are available to you in addition free uh, MP4 downloads. This month it's called The Danger of Denying Deliverance. You get web store discounts. You get discounts on the International School of Exorcism. You just can't afford not to enroll and be part of the members only channel. So do it. Would you do it and do it quickly? Now, one more thing I want to say to you, and that is t-shirts. We have got the world's coolest t-shirts. This one says, game over, Satan. That's one of the most popular ones that we have. But my personal favorite is this one, go to the pit. <laughs> How many times? Some of you have heard me say that hundreds, maybe thousands of times. So, you can have your own special t-shirt, be a member of the Members Only channel, have all the cool emojis and really get into this and be a warrior for the Lord virtually. Now to the story of Melody. A remarkable story. It all began when I did a virtual encounter with her. And when I did this virtual encounter, I had no idea what I was going to be getting into. I've since learned a lot about this young woman. Few people you'll ever meet have had greater challenges than she had. But with Jesus, she's escaped marriage to a man who's now serving 16 years in prison, the father of one of her children. Melody herself, three children, a past of drug addiction. But she's turning her life around by God's grace. What an incredible woman this is. Ironically, life started out pretty good for her. She was raised in church and homeschooled until the sixth grade. But she eventually fell victim to a centuries-old Aztec curse from her father's Mexican heritage and Muslim curses from her mother's lesbian her uh, Lebanese heritage. She eventually found our exorcism channel, and later she said to me, I watched your videos, and I knew if those people had demons, I had demons. So I want you to take a look before we get into the raw footage of the exorcism of Melody, which is absolutely remarkable. This is going to be one of the most inspiring exorcisms I've ever done that you have ever witnessed. But I want to take you back, first of all, to when I had this special Zoom session with her and encountered the Mexican Aztec demon at Quetzalcoatl and Jezebel and also dealt with a dissociated soul part of her ex named Gabriel, the guy who's serving 16 years in prison. So take a look at this. This was when I first met Melody when she scheduled a virtual encounter. Where did she pick up from her ex? Quetzalcoatl? Oh, yes, I can see Quetzalcoatl looking at me. 
We haven't even talked about the Native American yet. I strike you with the judgment of Christ. I pierce you with the sword of the Spirit. You are going to answer me, where is the worst evil? Incest. Where does that five-generation curse go? Lebanese. So we have no right. We have no right. To this woman? To this woman. Or her children. Say or it. her children. Or future generations. God's judgment. We go. We go. Say it, Jezebel. Now. Say now. Now. Two. Two. The pit. The pit. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Leave her. Go. 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 Go in the name of Jesus. Come out of her. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. You can see why I was so interested in meeting personally with this woman face to face to confront those demons and as soul part of her ex. Well, I eventually had the opportunity to do that. I want to step you through what you're about to see so you can be prepared for it. Because sometimes when you watch one of these deliverances, you don't always understand what's going on if you haven't been through our School of Exorcism and our Advanced Academy to understand the context of what's happening and why I'm doing what I'm doing. So I start out by speaking a special blessing over her. I call it a father's blessing. She never knew her father. So I stepped in that role as proxy from a spiritual standpoint to speak that blessing over her. And then almost immediately, the soul part that you saw me deal with a moment ago in the excerpt of her ex, guy by the name of Gabriel, <laughs> there's a misnomer for you. This guy is no angel. As I said a moment ago, 16 years in prison. So he comes up and it turns out he had made a pact with the devil. Now, I'm telling you all of this so you can track with me and follow the action of what's happening. And then I confront this soul part. Now, in our International School of Exorcism, we explain what a dissociated soul part is. And sometimes it comes from an individual who is long since dead in his past, somebody in the ancestry or somebody who is current. And we explain the phenomena psychologically and spiritually, how all of that happens. It's not the real person, but it's the dissociated aspects of consciousness, a dissociated, fragmented part of the self that gets lodged in the mind, either because of a generational right or because of a soul connection, soul tie. In this case, it was the soul connection, soul tie that she had formed with this guy when she lived with him. So then Gabriel pops back up again. He's already there. I've met him before. Now he pops back up. And this guy, he wants no quarter. He's evil. And he talks about making a pact with the devil. I asked him, do you want to rob behind bars? And he didn't even care. He said he fathered children all over the place. He didn't care about any of them. And then I gave him a choice of whether or not he wanted to turn to God. He didn't believe in mercy. He said it's fake. Then you'll watch me use a technique that I have used on previous occasions. The Holy Spirit told me and showed me how to do this many years ago. Sometimes when you have a soul part of an individual like this who is obstinate, who is evil, who doesn't want anything to do with God, you have to have a way to, to try to work with them and change them. Why is that? Because you don't want that negativity, that negative aspect of soul consciousness in the mind of the person that you're trying to minister to. You're trying to get it resolved. That's the best thing that you can do. And so I turn the demons, Lucifer, particularly back on him. He doesn't want mercy. He doesn't believe in mercy. I show him no mercy. And he gets the idea of, hey, man, I want some mercy. So you're going to see Lucifer manifest and then I'm going to have him torment Gabriel so that Gabriel understands the true intentions of demons. You know, that's the problem with this guy. He, 
He had such a tortured, tormented life of his own. He didn't know kindness. He didn't know love. He didn't know mercy. He didn't know any of these things. So I can't speak to him on that basis at this point. So I turn the demon on him, get his attention, and you'll see him screaming in torment. And then I'm going to bring him back and work with him. This is a remarkable piece of footage. Take a look. This is what happens when I finally meet personally with this precious young woman, Melody. Anoint you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I think one of the things I do want to do to get started here is to do something that I often do in situations like this. You didn't have a really good relationship with your father. <clears throat> and that is to uh, speak a blessing of a father over you. Men in your life have been pretty rotten to you. Okay? Okay. So as a father, and as a father of female children, three of them, I speak the blessing of God over you, over your womanhood, your sexuality, your emotions, your identity, everything that goes into making you a woman. And I want to bless you. Bless you in your going out, your coming in, your leisure, your labor, your hopes, your dreams. Your destiny. I bless you with goodness, honor, blessing, and favor from the Lord. I bless you. I bless you as a father blesses a child, and as a father blesses a female child, that you can have a man. As Jesus was a man in the flesh, reach out to you and declare blessing over you. And bless you with the hope of a good man in your life. A Christian man. Someone to love your children. Someone who will understand your trials and what you've been through and help to take you through it. I declare to you that Christ, you are clean, you are pure, you are righteous through his blood by faith in him and that all of this evil will someday, someday be a long ways in the rearview mirror. Amen. I bless you, I bless you, I bless you. Now I want you to say... <clears throat> I once again confront every curse of my life. I once again confront every curse of my life. The Muslim curses. The Muslim curses. The curses of my ex. The curses of my ex. Whatever pact he made with the devil. Whatever pact he made with the devil. I will not be part of it. I will not be part of it. My children with him will not be part of it. My children with him will not be part of it. Especially my son, Samson. Especially my son, Samson. That pact is broken. That pact is broken. On me and my future. On me and my future. And future generations. And future generations. I was not a party to that pact. I was not a party to that pact. I won't be bound by it in any way. I won't be bound by it in any way. Every door that I open to the devil. Every 
door that I opened to the devil. I closed by the blood of Jesus Christ. I closed by the blood of Jesus Christ. I've got a lot of responsibilities. I've got a lot of responsibilities. To be a godly mother. To be a godly mother. And I don't have the upbringing and background to handle that. And I don't have the upbringing and background to handle that. So you've got to help me, Lord. So you've got to help me, Lord. To do what I'm not prepared to do. To do what I'm not prepared to do. But through you, I can do it. And through you, I can do it. But no curse. But no curse. No demon. No demon. Is going to stand in the way. It's going to stand in the way. And no part of Gabriel is going to stand in the way. And no part of Gabriel is going to stand in the way. The sword of the spirit, I divide soul and spirit. Hello, Gabriel. You're an evil man. You're an evil man. Still trying to control this woman. I've been sitting here watching you look at me. We talked about her moving on, having a good life, having a righteous man in her life. <laughs> you didn't even wonder when you married her. But you do want the control. And after all, you owe the devil his due, don't you? You made a pact with him. It's canceled. And you're going to let go of this woman. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Come on, Gabriel. What do you have to say for yourself? Nothing. Nothing. You know, in human terms, you're just a rotten, stinking piece of trash. But you were made in the image of God with the potential to be something different by God's grace. And you are the way you are because God knows what happened to you. That's why the Lord tells us not to judge. You had some bad stuff. Your kids didn't come by their knowledge of perversion and lust on their own. You handed it to them. Somebody handed it to you, didn't they? Didn't they? Mm -hmm. Didn't they? Yes. Of course. I assume. Somebody raped you, molested her, incested you. Or maybe all three, I don't know. What was it? Well, what was it? Hey, I'm here to help you, man. I'm here to help you. I'm here to introduce you to some grace and mercy from God if you want it. But if you just want to play a tough guy. Let's remember where it got you behind bars. You don't even understand mercy. You never had any. But God is merciful and gracious. He's long-suffering. The Bible says he's goodness. He's full of goodness, mercy, and truth. He forgives iniquity and sin. I'll forgive you. 
but you got to break that pact with the devil. Well, come on, what do you want to do? You want to rot behind bars? <laughs> I know it sounds like I'm talking a foreign language to you, doesn't it? Because you don't understand these concepts of mercy and love and grace. Because <laughs> your life hasn't been like that and you didn't give it to anybody else. But you've got a son. Who's on his way to growing up like you? Is that what you want? You're not proud of yourself. But your toughness is all you have. Okay, you're going to get out of her mind. You're going to go peacefully. Or I'm going to throw you out. Which will it be? I don't want her anyway. You what? I don't want her anyway. I'm not talking about her. Although you would have been very fortunate to have her. She's a good woman. She's done bad stuff, but she's basically a good woman. I'm talking about your kids. You want another generation like you? Really? I have many children. I bet you do. Why? Because you're a sperm donor or a dad? Neither. What kind of children do you have? Many. Boys, girls. And you want them to end up like you? I don't care. Huh? I don't care. You don't care. You bring an innocent life into the world and you don't care. Well, I know you are the way you are because of all the pain that you suffered as a child. I'm sorry for that. Bible says, taste of the Lord and see that he is good. You need to break that pact with the devil and throw yourself at the mercy of God. Are you willing to do it? What's well, the first chance like this I think you probably ever had? I don't know, I know that you'll get another. Are you willing to do that? Fake. What's fake? Mercy. Okay. So when you made a pact with the devil, who'd you make it with? Anybody in specific? Just the devil in general or anybody in specific? Just the devil? You sorely underestimate what you're in for. A life of hell hasn't even started for you. Stay right where you are for a second. With the sword of the spirit, I separate Gabriel from the demon that he made the deal with. <coughs> Who do you make the deal with? Hmm? Who's your name, Spirit? Lucifer. He has no idea who's boss, does he? He thinks he's so tough. <laughs> <laughs> You figured him out. He what? You figured him out. Yeah. And you know what? <laughs> he, needs, he needs to be taught a lesson. Mm. He, knows to, he needs to know who's boss, doesn't he? Mm. Huh? He, I mean, he, he really needs to know. 
He's so cocky about the whole thing. So, I think uh, you need to get control of this situation, Lucifer. Make sure he understands a few things. You're going to do what I tell you to do. Look at me. I'll give you the space in a few moments to torment him and to show him your ultimate intention for his life and what you plan to do with him. I at least you, you show him who's boss. Do it. Do it. <laughs> torment him. Torment him. <laughs> torment him. Torment him. <laughs> Sink your fangs into him. Sink your claws into him. Now go down, Lucifer. I separate soul and spirit. I want Gabriel back. Get back up. <laughs> I'm going to break in here for a moment and make a few comments about this. So now that I've got Gabriel's attention, what next? This is like an anatomy of a very unusual kind of exorcism, although students of our Advanced Academy of Deliverance and our International School of Exorcism readily recognize some of the methodology and strategy that I'm using. Look, there's more to deliverance than the shouting and screaming and yelling at the devil or just saying nice little prayers to heal the person and hoping the devil leaves. When you deal with very sophisticated, sophisticated cases, and this is one, I mean, this guy's in prison. He's an evil man. He's been very bad. So that's very entrenched. He's made a pact with the devil. How are you going to get this person, the victim, the, ho the host, which is Melody, to a place of freedom? How are you going to deal with this invading soul part? And how are you going to deal with the demons that are attached to us? So there's a lot of strategy going on here. And let me just say, if you had enrolled in our school of exorcism, and graduated, or you had taken our Advanced Academy of Deliverance, you would understand some of this stuff. Let, let me tell you what some of the courses are in the Advanced Academy. Now, first, you've got to go through the school. That's the basics. You learn how to be a warrior for the Lord. You learn how to be an exorcist. You learn how this operates. Plus, you learn the biblical and the historical aspects of deliverance of the casting out of demons. When you go on to the Advanced Academy, let me, give, let me give you an idea of what some of the courses are. I typed up a little list here. The first course is Demonic Strategies and Assignment. You won't find this information anywhere. I don't even have it in any of my books. Second course, Demonic Entities, Identities, and Tactics. And then the third course, Demonic Kingdoms by Genealogy and Geography. Two hours on this. And then two hours on the philosophical, psychological, and the spiritual concepts of consciousness. Now, that, that's where I get even deeper into this thing. It dissociated souls and also ancestral generational dissociation, as we call it, where people have inherited memories from the past. And then I get into two hours of teaching on shattering soul bonds. There's much more than this simple idea of soul ties. Nothing wrong with that. It's a good place to start, but it gets deeper. It's more profound than that. If you really want to get free, this academy will help you to do that. Then I spend two hours teaching on the enigmatic ingenuity of evil, and I break down the top 50 demons I've ever had to deal with and how they operate and what is so crucial about the uniqueness of these demonic identities. Now, why would you need to know this? Because we're in the last days, folks. Look around you. Look at the world you live in. Look how bad off we are. Look how much demonic stuff is happening. I mean, doesn't it seem like almost every single day you pick up your newspaper, somebody's killing somebody, somebody's shooting somebody? It's horrible. These are tragic times in which we live. But listen, friend, 
If you know how to battle the devil, you know how to get yourself free and you know how to set other people free. So enroll in the school, enroll in the Advanced Academy of Deliverance and get yourself a personal encounter so I can minister to you directly and help you. Now let's go to the second part of this exorcism and deliverance of melody. So where we left off a moment ago, Gabriel was defiant. He didn't believe in mercy. He didn't want any help. He's a tough guy until I unleashed Lucifer on him. Now, he wants God to forgive him. And you see a miracle take place as this soul part completely turns around and turns to Jesus. So essentially, there's a kind of psychological, spiritual, metaphysical redemption that's taking place here. I use that in the terms of resolving the terrible hate because of the pact with the devil and, and turning that into something positive. And then I bring Melody back. Now it's time to go to the demons and take Lucifer head on. You are about to see one of the most distinct dramatic manifestations that we have ever shown. And you'll see me grab my screen towel, which is a face cloth that I keep in the area of the conference room where we do our virtual, uh, in our in-person encounters. And so I grab that because, I mean, we're in an office building. There are people nearby. It's one of the most piercing screams I've ever heard from anybody. And so I had to muffle that just for the sake of the other tenants who were surrounding us. But this thing just cut loose. Wait till you see her at the end. She's delivered. She's set free. Her emotional response to the Holy Spirit is going to be one of the most touching things that you ever lay your eyes on. But first, we start out with the soul part of Gabriel. Remember, this is the guy who made the pact with the devil, the guy who's in prison for 16 years, who doesn't want the mercy of God. Lucifer has just, just beat up on him. Now take a look at how Gabriel has changed. <laughs> That's who you're dealing with. That's who you're dealing with, Gabriel. That's what your son's going to grow up and deal with. Is that what you want? <laughs> you ready for a taste of mercy? <laughs> it's that big you God forgive me. <laughs> Thank you, God. Forgive me, God. For all my evil. <laughs> For all my evil. Have mercy on me. <laughs> And my children. <laughs> and my children. I don't want them to suffer like this. <laughs> I don't want them to suffer in my place. Forgive me. <laughs> Forgive me. Forgive me. I renounce my pact with the devil. <laughs> I renounce my pact with the devil. <laughs> release melody from my witchcraft. <laughs> release melody from my witchcraft. Close your eyes, Gabriel. Jesus Christ is going to come for you. Go with him. Go with him. To his peace and to his rest. Get up, Lucifer. Get up. 
Oh, it has seen your face, Lucifer. They don't like you so much when they see what you're really all about, do they? Your only right to this woman was through her ex. That's it. And that's your right to her child. Mm. Young Samson. Who's with you? Anybody important? No. Huh? No one important. It's a bunch of minions. You don't have any legal right to this woman. Say I Lucifer. Hi, Lucifer. <clears throat> Renounce the pact. Renounce the pact. Renounce the pact. Her ex mate. Her ex mate. And its effect. And its effect. On this woman. On this woman. And her children. And her kids. I release them all. I release them all from that pact. It's broken. Release them now. I can <laughs> get up and face me. <laughs> so you left every curse on her children. I all lust. <laughs> All lust. All lust. All lust. All lust. <laughs> Say it. All lust. Perversion. Perversion. Incest. <laughs> incest. <laughs> yes, incest. <laughs> incest. <laughs> Say incest. Incest. <laughs> and pedophilia. Pedophilia, say it. And pornography. And pornography. And by the way, think I'm a fool. Incest is there with you. I bind you. <laughs> and perversion. <laughs> I bind incest and perversion to you. <laughs> so I'm Lucifer. <laughs> I Lucifer. <laughs> Say it. I Lucifer. Bound all this evil. Bound <laughs> all this evil. What? Bound all this evil. Lift every curse mm. from both sides of the family. <laughs> from both sides of the family. And her ex. And her ex. All curses of incest and evil. All curses of incest and evil. And every spirit of perversion. And every spirit of perversion. Say it. Every spirit of perversion. Spirit of perversion. We have no more right. We have no more right. To this woman. To this woman. Or her destiny. <laughs> or her destiny. Or her destiny. <coughs> or her children. <coughs> or her children. <coughs> or her children. Her, especially young Samson. Especially Samson. You lift the curse of perversion <laughs> and lust and pornography on the <laughs> <head. laughs> so I Lucifer. <laughs> Lucifer. I Lucifer. I am judged by God. <laughs> I'm judged by God. I'm judged by God. I'm judged by God. With all of my kingdoms. With all, all my kingdoms. Oh 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 my
Unlocked. No! Yes! We go. We go. We go. Now. No! Say now. No! Two. Two. The. <laughs> the. 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 Say the. No! wasn't in the job description. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. I know that you have the peace of God, Thank the presence you, of Christ, the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. To fill you with his Holy Spirit. <laughs> for all this evil was, all the lust of perversion. <laughs> fill her now, Lord, with purity and clarity. Thank you. Your Holy Spirit just flows through every part where all this evil was for all these years in yes. Jesus' name. Jesus. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, there was still something there. <laughs> there was definitely... Oh, I just feel like so liberated. <laughs> you are liberated. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. All right, just thank the Lord. Thank you. You may have tears in your eyes. I did when it happened. When I looked at this footage all over again, I had tears in my eyes all over again because of the remarkable way that the Holy Spirit worked in this young woman's life. And, and whoever you are out there, whatever you're bound with, I, I would say you'd be hard-pressed at her age to have suffered as much as she suffered. I don't care if you're twice her age to have suffered as much as she suffered, to have gone through what this young woman has gone through, and to have come through it by the grace of God. And now to see her life turned around and to see her rejoice in the Lord. What you just saw is a work of the Holy Spirit. I'm just a vessel. I'm just a conduit. I'm just someone who is there to be the instrument of God, to bring his message of peace and love, but I don't set anybody free and I don't really make any demons go. That's the power that is in the name of Jesus and the work of the Holy Spirit, and that's what you saw. Only Jesus could do that. If you're not a Christian, you witness this. Isn't it about time that you gave your life to Jesus Christ? This is real, friend. You saw evil, real evil, raw evil. Then you see the love of Jesus working with the soul part of Gabriel, and then setting this woman free. Jesus, this is real, turn to him. If you want to know more about how the devil operates, there's so many places I can send you, obviously, to the school and to the academy. But if you don't yet have a copy of Larson's book of spiritual warfare, you need to get it. This is a 500-page book, and I have chapters in here about Satanism and 
devil worship and people who make pacts with the devil. I tell some amazing stories in here, but also break down the whole system of the world of the occult and Satanism and how it operates. Now, that's 500 pages, friend. You are not going to read this on a relaxed summer evening. It's going to take several evenings and days to get through the whole thing. But the whole idea is the way it's broken down. You, it, you don't read it like a novel. You, you read a section and understand it, comprehend it, and then you go ahead and you read on another topic and another section and so on. So it's sort of a, an encyclopedia of spiritual warfare. There's so many ways we have to help you. The school, the academy, our encounters, our books. We have ministry associates who are ready to minister to you anywhere you are all over the world. We could help you find hope and peace through Jesus Christ. And thanks to all of you out there, all you sword bearers, soldiers, and commanders of our members only channel, and those of you who support us on a regular basis. We appreciate you so much and we're so grateful for your help. And remember, we're completely redefining and redoing who we are and how we do it right now. This has all been brought on by the COVID crisis, but now God has turned this into something that is absolutely remarkable. God is allowing us to reach more people every day than we used to reach in a year. But it's meant ramping up staffing and equipment to a level I never dreamed of. And we've had to stick it on the credit card just to be able to take the steps we've had to take. As I said earlier, we had a computer that go down, we had the cameras go down, and we've had to replace all of this. And it's been a major, major step. And it's cost far more than I even imagined it would. I threw a figure out of five to 10,000 sometime recently, and it's gone way, way beyond that. So thank you for your help. Thank you for blessing this ministry as you see this ministry be a blessing to others and to you. And remember, as you help us, Together, we carry a crucial message to a generation in bondage to the devil. Through Jesus Christ, you can get free, stay free, and live free. Your financial support and prayers make it possible for us to bring hope for the hurting and freedom to those in spiritual bondage. For the latest information regarding ministry outreaches, go to boblarson.org or call 303-980-1511.